On this Winter Pride episode of Outlook TV, the Pride flag makes its way down Whistler Mountain. Mr. Gay Canada's press conference. The Cowboy Cowgirl Party and much, much more. Hi and welcome to Outlook TV. I'm Barb. And I'm Angus. And we're, we're coming to you from Winter Pride in Whistler. This, uh, Dan and Rebecca, of course, they're not here this week. They're basking away on the sunshine somewhere exotic. But so are we. We're enjoying glorious sunshine up here in uh, Whistler, uh, B.C. And we're here to bring you everything Winter Pride. So we have an action-packed show for you, so we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get going. And the first thing up is Michael Frolic at Apre. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Winter Pride 2014. Here we are at Buffalo Bills. This is the very first Apre, the very first day of Winter Pride, January 2014. How are you feeling about Apre so far, Rob? Excellent. It's a great start to the day. We had tons of people on the hill, and the sun was shining, and the place is busy, and everyone's drinking. So, hey, it's fun. Nice. Are you excited about the week ahead? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a really good one. Lots of people are here. Everyone seems really excited. We've run into some people that have come from quite a ways away. Can you tell us where you're from? Bangkok. What brought you over here? Skiing. And how do you know about this winter pride? Well, this is actually our ninth year. Do you have a favorite when you're here all week? I mean, what, what really grabs your attention? It's everything. It's, uh, it's the skiing, it's the restaurant, it's the guys, it's the camaraderie. It's running into friends that you've seen for nine years and everyone looks the same. Everyone's still crazy. We all have fun. Have you been to Winter Pride before? I, I'm not. This is my first time in Winter Pride. I've been to Aspen Gay Ski and uh, on the East Coast Gay Ski, but this is this is the biggest one. It's awesome. And what made you choose this one? Be just for that reason. It's it's the biggest uh, skiing in North America and also the biggest Winter Pride. We just ran into some old friends of mine from when I used to live up here in Whistler, BC. Introduce yourselves. We have Gary. Leonard, Anna, and Brian. There we go, all the old crew coming together again. How was the day up there? Terrible. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Fabulous. We ran lots of runs with our skis on. I hurt my ankle. We whooped. It's great. Had a blast. She took us all over the place. It was awesome. Lots of groom runs, fast skiing. <laughs> Blue skies, sunshine, great gaze. Oh, <laughs> it's so nice to be together again. This is what Winter Pride is all about, bringing friends together, having a wonderful time, and drinks. <laughs> Parades vary from pride to pride, and Winter Pride's no exception. That's for sure, Angus. And the great thing about Whistler Blackcomb's Winter Pride is that it starts up at the top of the hill with a humongous flag, which just slowly winds its way down with a bunch of skiers. Truly, truly unique. And it's kind of hard to miss a gigantic rainbow flag on white snow. Ends up right behind us where we're standing now. And we gays sure know how to celebrate Oh, pride. that we do, darling. Soup yourself. We're here at the top of Whistler Mountain for the Winter Pride Parade. Let's go check out what the participants have in store for us this year. We always get a good crew of people that just kind of hang out. They, they, you know, they follow us down, they cheer us. So, uh, what is it you're wearing today? I'm wearing a pride hat for guiding. Oh, very nice. Uh, made of flowers and you've got some nice uh, little boa. I'm here with Dorothy and friends, We're ready for the parade. How's it going, guys? It's going great, thank you. Really well, thanks. Two friends on the way down. With someone called a scarecrow and a tin man, we can't shake them off. They'll be on here, they'll be here soon. Do you see us get the flag out? Okay. So we're doing the long flag yeah, and the yeah. big one as well. So, We're here at the base of the mountain in Whistler, waiting for the pride flag to come down the mountain to start the parade through the village. Hopefully they'll be coming down soon. Let's check it out. We're fabulous! Yeah, everything's fabulous on this pride day.
Well, the app raise sure look like they're fun. They're happening every day here at Whistler. They are, and I hear there's other events as well, like a mix and mingle, and Michael Frolic is bringing us all the nuts and bolts. A little bit of mixing, a little bit of mingling. You got it. Nuts. <laughs> a little bit of bolts. Tonight is the mix and mingle. It's a pajama party, as you can see. And everybody is ready to have a good time, have a few drinks, and dance to the mix and mingle music of DJ Johnny T tonight. First of all, what's your name? Uh, Maddie's my name. And where do you come from? Uh, from Australia, Geelong, Australia. Have you ever been to a Winter Pride before? I haven't. This is my first time, and I'm loving it. Any thoughts on uh, your Winter Pride experience? Oh, it's good so far. I mean, Whistler tourism is great. It's good to have Whistler Pride. I don't know. My sister's gay. I wish she was here. She'd be having a great time. Nice. But no, Whistler Pride's awesome. I got here in the Shooter Boy outfit. It's your first night serving, so we're just having a blast and hopefully get some shots going and have a good night. You know, Barb, Winter Pride wouldn't be complete without a gender bender party. Oh, hell no! I went and I definitely got my gender bent, so I did a little bit of reporting while I was there. Check it out. We are here at Winter Pride 2014. 22nd annual Winter Pride here at beautiful Whistler Black Home. It's chilly, but certainly not inside at Garfunkel's, where we have the gender bender party going on. Amazing decor. Simone Says is doing her thing. We've got Ray Sunshine doing shows. All sorts of people twisting their gender a little bit, trying to get a little bit bent. We're going to talk to some of the people here tonight, and we have plenty more events happening for you all week long here at Winter Pride in Whistler. How long have you been doing Gender Bender here? Well, Gender Bender, I've been doing it since it started, and it's great because here's an event that, because I'm in drag for the whole week, I get to do this event as a boy, which is why I've got that Barbie tickler on. I think I had her once. <laughs> What do you love most about Winter Pride? I love that people from all around the world come to actually enjoy themselves. It's not necessarily about the party, it's about the new friendships that one makes. And the Caesars in my hotel room. And the Caesars in Barb's hotel room. Yes, I think we're still drunk. What a great job you did. What's your company? Um, my, my company's debut event design, and we're part of uh, Whistler Pride, and we're so proud to be here and having lots of fun expressing ourselves and sharing all our talents with Whistler. What are you looking forward to this week? You know what, it's, 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 it's creating the parties, making the experiences for all the guests, and that, that to me is the fun part. Ray, how many years have you been coming up to Winter Pride? Uh, this is my second year, actually, and it's been amazing. Again, the crowd's amazing, everyone's so happy, everyone's happy to be here. If I did the splits that you just did on stage, it would be weeks before this whole girl would get up. Well, I mean, I love, I love, I love dancing. I love doing the splits, yoga. If there was a pole here, I'd be all up on that. But no pole. There's no pole here. So, what are you gonna do? I think there's gonna be plenty more poles by the end of the week here at Winter Pride. What's different about Whistler and Winter Pride's audiences? I think it's a lot more of out of towners and uh, a lot more open minds. It's not, everyone's not used to the same drag show over and over and over again. It's much more of a bigger experience. So when you have performers like Simone and Courtney Act, you know you're getting something really nice. Want to take a break, Barb? I definitely, I'm a little bit exhausted. Stick around, everybody, we'll be right back. You're watching Outlook TV. While in Whistler, accommodations for the Outlook TV crew were provided by the following resorts. so much going on here at Winter Pride, we can't even begin to tell you the half of it. 
So we shot this special piece for you. Check it out now. I'm on the panel of judges at the press conference where Mr. Gay Canada candidates make their presentations. I would love to create gay youth organizations geared towards volunteering in their communities, be it at an old folks home, the food banks, a soup kitchen, um, even the gay and lesbian centers in their towns, but just getting them involved and giving back to where they're from. As Mr. Gay Victoria, um, I want to represent the LGBTQ community in Victoria. I also want to um, be also more involved in other communities in Victoria, and that as an integrative part of society. Um, everyone refers to their own separate communities, but I also view the human population as one community as well. As Mr. Gay Manitoba, I do hope to uh, go to a lot of Gay Straight Alliance meetings and just talk a little bit about my experiences with the HIV community and try to quell those stereotypes as best as I can. But I don't just hold myself to just the GBLT community as a whole. Um, I volunteer at soup kitchens, I volunteer um, with homeless shelters, I've mentored um, youth. And so I find myself not just a gay man, but a person for the community. And I had experienced a lot of abuse from different kinds in different directions. And you have to digest it and you have to keep going. And among other things, at some point committing suicide was considered. And only then is when I first met, well, when I, someone stood up for what she believed was the right thing to do. I came out, I was 18 years old, and uh, I'm the type of person that's very proud of myself and who I am. I, am, I don't have any barriers to when it comes out, it says, I'm gay, yay. So I told, I told everybody. So what, the, the, what people were doing back to me wasn't, wasn't uh, too much concern. And I, I, the, I think the way I am, because I'm so confident about myself, that uh, I get a good response. Especially in Muslim country, and being gay is very dangerous. Like you are official dead if your family you found that. And, uh, I have just like one example, it's a real example. Of, uh, my, I lost my partner, he's a Syrian, and after his, fa his family found out uh, he's a gay, so he killed him, so it's really affect me. And everything, like the if I talk about the refugees, it's gonna come from my heart. When I was in school, I would rush home and watch Oprah Winfrey. So I hope to be an Oprah Winfrey or Ellen DeGeneres within the school communities. And I hope to travel around you know, our nation, to all the provinces, wherever schools wanna invite me to talk. And I think to open that dialogue with the students and hear what they have to say, you know, that will bring about change. You're watching Outlook TV. Well, I guess I think it's time that we throw back instead of forward in this segment. What does that even mean, Barb? Well, it means it's a throwback Thursday. So Laura Shaw went and she did just that at the throwback Thursday party. All right, we're throwing back to the retro days here at throwback Thursday. Let's check it out. the retro party what's your favorite retro tune oh I'd have to say like something by the Supremes remixed Who? remixed Supremes none of these what's your favorite retro tune oh what's the retro tune favorite, favorite retro tune anything from Soul Train they need to start playing it immediately <laughs> no one's dancing yet yeah well, it all starts soon enough Anything from Whitney, circa 1985. How are you liking the party so far? Oh, it's going really well. I mean, uh, look at all the people. They're all having a good time. What has been your favorite party so far? Well, I just got here today, so by far, this is my favorite party. Perfect. Uh, what's your favorite retro tune? Favorite what? Don't really, I can't really think of one right now, sorry. <laughs> How about, uh, um, oh, what's it, what's it called? Uh, shoot, um, we are superstition. Family. We are family. Okay.
retro tune? Oh my god, don't ask me that question. Girls just want to have fun, Cindy Lauper. Perfect. <laughs> It's a great party, it's a great time, beautiful people, and we can't complain. We're checking out the beautiful people. Me too. Yeah, it's about beautiful people. Why not? At the Retro Throwback Party for Winter Pride, I'm Laura Shaw with Outlook TV. Well, Barbara, I hear there's a fundraiser in town as well while we're here. Yes, yeah, a great fundraiser for a number of gay charities put on by Out on Slopes called Woosh. Woosh. Uh, Willie Taylor's going to be performing at it. Willie? Oh, fantastic. I do believe we might have some, uh, some coverage for you. Good stuff. Thank you. Hello, we're all here tonight at the 12th annual Ski Out Woosh Party at Merlin's in Whistler. Come on inside and check out the fun and everything hot that's happening. <laughs> Skiot's a gay and lesbian, uh, transgender, bisexual uh, ski and snowboard group. And uh, to create a little bit of community in Whistler, we uh, host a party named Woosh, uh, Winter Pride. Which uh, tonight's beneficiary is EGAL, which is the Legal Defense Fund uh, for gay and lesbian uh, organizations. Um, and a minimum 50% of our cover goes to that. Once we pay our bills, it's closer to about 80% that we donate to charity. 100% uh, of our coat checks goes to Camp Mumba, which sends HIV kids to summer camp. Now there's something about good loving. You can expect uh, a little of uh, some black southern influence. Um, then we're going to finish it off with some Patty DuBelle. We're going to rock this house tonight. Sounds awesome. I, I'm so excited. Last year I was here, I was a little unprepared. It's redemption night tonight. This is my 12th year doing this event. And in those 12 years, I'm looking out at y'all. I think I met you on year one. I did you on year two. I hated you on year three. But we got it right on year four. Anybody can join. Uh, we have a website at www.skiout.com where you can get a bi-weekly newsletter or you can go onto uh, Facebook, search words ski out, and, uh, and join as a, a member there. There's no membership fees, there's no dues, nothing like that. Just a bunch of friends going out for a, a ride on the mountain. How about a break, Barb? I think so. I'm exhausted watching all this. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back after a break. While in Whistler, accommodations for the Outlook TV crew were provided by the following resorts. any great ski event, but there's also the important stuff to me anyway, like the APRE. And for this one, we take you to the Whistler Conference Center where Gary Wolfader took us to see all the ski bunnies. I spoke with people who enjoyed APRE ski at Winter Pride. It's been a great week. I've been guiding each day on the mountain. And, uh, I had my third group to take out today and we've been all over the place and had a really fun time. What are the skiing conditions? The skiing's been really good. I mean, just, the snow's a bit questionable, but everybody's having a really good time. They're getting around, they're going around the mountain. Nobody's complaining up on the mountain, and we're having fun. Whistler is just the most absolutely hashtag fabulous winter wonderland. 
sea conditions. Um, could be better. But it's a little bit icy and it's a little bit hard to fall in the bum bum, but <laughs> it's been fun. I'm looking forward most to uh, Mr. Gay Canada and um, listening to these guys articulate what their views are for Canada, what their platforms are going to be. I'm particularly thrilled with the fact that they're also diverse, represent a vast um, cultural, multifaceted culture of the world, really. And it, it really reflects the rainbow community. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. We've been skiing uh, two days. It's been great. How are the ski conditions? Minimal. There could be more. Uh, there's not. There's not much. There's there's a few runs that have ice and tree branches and stuff sticking up, but but it's good. You go a little higher up and it's nice. What are you looking forward to? Um, we skied Harmony today and it was it was wonderful. So hopefully go back to there. Uh, Blackcomb tomorrow, but but back to Whistler on Thursday or Friday, I guess. Which party are you looking forward to? Uh, ferocious. Ferocious. And the conditions are actually better than I expected. Yeah, no, I thought they were really quite good. It's like spring skiing. What are you looking forward to? Ooh, I have to say I'm most looking forward to dinner at the Rim Rock on Friday night. I, so I just got here a few hours ago, and it's so much fun. I've never been here to Whistler. I'm having a lot of fun. What are you looking forward to? Um, I think hang out with my friends and skiing, but also the apres ski parties. This is Gary for Outlook TV. Whoa, partner. Oh, really? <laughs> Tell me about it. It has been a busy week, obviously. There's still a couple of little props, but with so many events, we've got even one more to show you. Michael? Welcome to Whistler Winter Pride. This is the Cowboy Cowgirl Party, the day two of Winter Pride, and we're gonna see some amazing line dancing tonight. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna talk to some people, and here we are. Incredible. The snow is brilliant. The people are very friendly. The parties are amazing. This cowboy party, this cowboy and cowgirl party, incredible. Blowing my mind. Line dancing is my new passion. All right, let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. Step together, step, touch, step together. Uh, we raised money for Loving Spoofle in Vancouver and also St. Michael's Hospice was our last donor. We uh, meet weekly, we teach uh, country two-step, uh, line dance, uh, West Coast Swing, East Coast Swing, and waltz. Five, six, seven, eight. Now make sure you keep the circle big. Keep the circle big. Hip to hip. Step, knee, step, toe, step, knee, step. So I understand that you're with the Mr. Gay Canada representatives today. How did that go? Uh, it was it was good. You know, they're coming in cold, so they have no idea what to expect. So you know, I played a couple songs for them. They chose the second one, and it's a it's a standard choreography. We tweak it up a little bit so they get a showcase of their own abilities, and uh, they had a good time. I'm, I'm pleased with them. It's it's a tough it's a tough thing to get out in, in front of people and and pr present a dance that you just learned. So I'm proud of them. Yeah, they did a good job. time at the Cowboy and Cowgirl Party. This is Michael Frolic for Outlook TV, wishing you all a very happy Winter Pride, everyone. Well, that's all the time we have for this very action-packed Winter Pride experience. Well, we're having a second show this month. Don't forget, everybody, you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're interested in volunteering, you can always send us an email. For Outlook TV, I'm Barb Snellgrove. And Angus Prod. See you next time. See you, everybody.